Hi everybody, it's Anthony Morrison and welcome to this week's edition of the Success Connection. So, last week we talked a little bit more about my book. We've been doing um, a 12-week blitz here, that we're on week four. Um, we're talking about the principles to becoming a successful entrepreneur and I outline them all in my first book, The Hidden Millionaire. This was me like reflecting back on my life and seeing what are the 12 things that have helped me get to where I'm at today and I share them with you in this book. Most of you already have it. And uh, right here on the Success Connection, we're diving deep into all 12 of these principles over the next 12 weeks. So we're on principle number four right now. Remember, we're giving away $1,000 at the end of these 12 weeks as long as you watch every one, of these, uh, every one of these videos between now and then. You like them on Facebook. You have to like it on Facebook. Leave me comments below. Retweet it on Twitter. You'll qualify to possibly win the $1,000. Now, let's get into the fourth principle. It is strive to acquire knowledge. Now, you already know I've talked to you for the last three weeks about how having knowledge will give you confidence. Having confidence allows you to proceed with things without a big you know, cloud of fear over your head, which allows you to be more aggressive, which allows you to have success. But here's what most people don't realize. To acquire knowledge does not mean to buy everything you can. It doesn't mean to just go buy everything. What it means is to take what you have and really and truly read it, learn from it, you know, dive into it, take notes, study it, and then acquire more knowledge. Let me give you an example. Um, as I said here on page uh, 38 in my book, when I first started business, it was because of uh, my Mustang. I had a red Mustang. I just got it when I was 15 years old, and I knew nothing about cars, but I, I had this Mustang. And I saw that people were buying a lot of parts for the cars. I got online and I saw that this was a big industry. I mean, people spend a lot of money on their car. So here's what I did. I knew nothing about cars. I educated myself. I went to message boards where people were chatting about their cars and about the new parts they bought for them and the things they were doing to it. And I acquired knowledge. Over the course of maybe a month or so, I did nothing but consume information about these cars. Then I launched a business selling car parts. And guess what? When I launched that business, I had the knowledge to answer the questions that people had. I had the knowledge to find the customers that I was looking for. I had the knowledge to know which parts made me the most money. I had the knowledge to know which parts people wanted more than others. I had the knowledge to know which parts people would buy together in a bundle, right? So again, acquiring knowledge helped me create more success. So here's my challenge to you for this week. Acquire more knowledge. If you've got a copy of this book and you haven't read it, read it. If you don't have a copy, grab a copy. You can get it on Amazon. All right. If you've got my other books, read them. Don't just let them sit on the shelf and think that because you watch the weekly blog or the, you know, some videos I throw out that you're going to just all of a sudden magically make millions of dollars. This isn't how it works. You have to acquire knowledge. Constantly be learning. I'm constantly learning every single day. I'm acquiring more knowledge, right? Reading more books, watching more videos, learning from more people, and you should be too. So when I send you an email, open it and read it because there's a pretty good chance you can acquire some knowledge from it, right? When you watch these videos, take notes. Again, acquire knowledge and read the books if you have the books because they're full of wisdom, capabilities, and direction that really have helped me acquire a lot of success in a very short amount of time. And I feel like they can really lay that blueprint for you to do the same as well. So I challenge you this week, strive to acquire knowledge in every way, shape, or form that you can for the next seven days. Acquire knowledge. Teach yourself to do this every single week. And week after week, always be looking to learn something new, right? Acquiring knowledge, very, very important to your success. Make sure you leave me some comments below. Do you agree with this blog? Do you feel like you can acquire some knowledge this week? And if so, how, what's your plan? What are you going to do to acquire more knowledge? Share this on Facebook, like it on Facebook, retweet it on Twitter, and uh, again, at the end of 12 weeks, if you've participated, you've shared it socially, left comments, you could possibly win $1,000 right here on the Success Connection. So make sure you do this, acquire more knowledge, and I'll see you next week right here on the Success Connection with principle number five.